Hey everyone, welcome back to the Hash Raptor YouTube channel. Here we are again post merge and we are looking for other coins to mine and I need to get the rest of my rigs up and configured. So today we're going to take a look at the solo mining rig and it's still, really it's still day zero here as I'm recording this. So we're going to take a look at just some of the activity that's going on and it's really nuts. It's all over the board as hash rate gets spread around. So in all likelihood, here in the first few weeks, uh, as we configure these rigs, we're probably in the coming months going to have to move them around as hash rate spreads out. So that being said, let's jump into solo today and let's see what we can learn and get this rig up and mining. All right, so here we are on the 3070 solo mining rig and let's take a quick look at what we've got going on here and do an overview. So we've got six 3070s. These are a little bit of a mixture. We've got three gigabytes, two NVIDIAs, these are Founder Edition cards, and one Asus 3070. Here are our overclocks that we had for FHash. Uh, you can see the OS version number, the NVIDIA drivers 460.91.03. So let's take a look at what's going on this afternoon with the 3070s in regards to algos and profitability. All right, so here we are on what to mine. We've got our single 3070 selected. Let's do a new calculate here real quick. Uh, the only thing I've done is disabled fhash, so I haven't come in here and optimized any of this. Some of this definitely needs to be tweaked, but let's just take a look at what it says uh, out of the gate here. So again, we're still afternoon of day zero of the merge. It looks like Ergo is at the top at the moment for the 3070s. NiceHash has a couple algorithms right behind it here. You can see the Auto Lycos algorithm on NiceHash. It's bringing in 42 cents after electric versus straight up ergo is at 47 cents. And this is the reason right here as I'm scouting these rigs early on post merge, I may start throwing stuff just on NiceHash because what that will let me do is focus on different algorithms but consolidate all of my earnings in one place and have it converted to Bitcoin. The other thing that I like about it, as I mentioned in my last video, is that I can choose when I get my payouts, which makes it much easier to look at the number of transactions that I have when it comes tax time. So coming further down, we've got Conceal with Kryptonite GPU. Here's the NiceHash Kapow, which we have our 1660 Super Rig up and running there. So yeah, let's see here, Octopus, nice hash Octopus that's sort of low down here on the list. So I think what I'm going to do is focus up in this area right here, zero in on one of these algorithms. There's a lot of interest right now in Ergo with the Auto Lycos algorithm. So I think what I'm going to do is just go ahead and get this up and running and point it at NiceHash for the reasons I just said. So I can consolidate all these earnings in one place here over the next couple of weeks. And in case I switch algorithms, I can still keep the same earnings on the same pool. So first things first, I need to come over here and get an Auto Lycos flight sheet set up. So let's go ahead and create a new flight sheet. And I'm going to do this at the farm level. So I'm going to come back out here. I'm going to go to flight sheets. And we're going to do a new flight sheet. Want to just start typing nice hash. That'll get you kind of the list right here of the different algorithms you're going to want to take a look at. So we're going to try out Auto Lycos. And for our wallet, we've already got our nice hash BTC wallet set up. So that's the other nice thing here is even though we're setting up a different algorithm, I don't have to go in and create a new wallet. So I'm just going to select that. And for our pool, we're going to select nice hash. We'll select our pool server, apply that. And now we need to select a miner. So I'll start doing testing here with T-Rex Miner for reasons I've said before. I've just used that over the years and had good results. And then once we settle in here, we'll bounce this against some of these other miners and see which one is the best one to come out with. But if you have any thoughts or suggestions, definitely put that in the comments below. So name of the flight sheet, let's call this nice hash auto Lycos T-Rex. And now I'm going to come back over to my workers. We're going to go to solo. Let's go to flight sheet. I'm going to pools and I'll just select nice hash to filter this out. And you can see there's the auto Lycos 
uh, flight sheet that we just put together. So, and notice that it's not tuned yet, so we'll still have to do that. Let me go ahead and apply this. Now, keep in mind that I did put all of my rigs into maintenance mode. So it's just right up here under worker options. All right, here we go. You can see that the new flight sheet has been applied. Now, it looks like what we've got here is our standard overclocks that we had for FHASH. I know these power limits are safe, and the only thing I really have to worry about is the core clock and memory possibly crashing the rig, uh, but we're not going to worry about that too much because you, you can't do any damage. It's just reading from the drivers, and if it tries to go anything beyond that, it'll default back to a safe value. So what I'm going to do is just leave this in place right now, and then I'll start resetting based off of our FHASH settings um, and see where we land. So what I'm going to do is come up here and take this out of maintenance mode. I'm going to disable maintenance mode, apply that. And then I'm going to come up to the miner and I'm going to tell it to restart. So what I'm going to do is let this fire up, let it start uh, settling in for a few minutes. And uh, we know our power limits are safe here, so we will come back and take a look at the results here in a few minutes. All right, here we go. The miner has been up and running for about five minutes, and we've got 38 accepted shares. And you can see down here with my standard uh, FHASH overclocks, uh, we are defaulting, it looks like, at about just over 160 mega hash. So what I'm going to do is start tweaking from here on each of these cards. I'll leave one so we can kind of get a benchmark here as we make adjustments up and down. And let's see where we end up with this rig. Okay guys, so I've had this running this afternoon and I've had to restart the miner a few times. You can see we've been up this latest restart about 35 minutes. Uh, but the rig right here, you can see we haven't rebooted for four hours. And that being said, here are some settings that I wanted to share with you so far on Auto Lycos using T-Rex. So right here, these are the FHASH settings overclocks that we brought over sort of by default to play with. And just... Um, you know some pretty interesting results here so our 3070s we had at 130 watts on the power limit and just a reminder for those of you that are curious what's going on at the wall uh, I'm not in the shed right now but Nvidia cards uh, all of these I've tested out they do match up pretty closely with what you see at the wall you might add about 10 to 15 watts for a riser per GPU or something like that so but it, it ends up being pretty close overall on the rig so we're not being exact, we're just making this initial move uh, to get a, a pretty good idea of where we want to be. That being said, so we're at 130 watts. This is not a percentage, 130 watts here. Our memory is at 1600, our core clock is at minus 500, and we came out with 162.8 mega hash. So I spent the afternoon playing around a little bit here. And you can see the first thing I did on this first GPU, let me point out that I do have some different models here. I've got an Asus, a couple of Founders Editions, and then Gigabyte cards. Uh, so that complicates things a little bit, but I, I think we've got a pretty good feel for you know what we're looking at here. So on this first test right here, we have our power limit left alone at 130. We set the memory and core clock to zeros, and that dropped our hash rate down to 144 mega hash. And then on the next GPU, this NVIDIA Founders Edition 3070, we left it at 130, left the memory at 1600, but took out the core clock. And we actually didn't drop that much. We're down here at about 160.6 mega hash, so still pretty solid. The next test on this NVIDIA Founders Edition, 130 watts on the power limit, zero on the memory, so we just flipped this, minus 500 on the core clock, and we're at 143.7 mega hash, so definitely not a good result there. Then we left the core clocks the same at minus 500 and 1600, but I did drop the power limit by 10 watts, and you can see we got a, a little hit from around 161, 162, down to 156.8 uh, mega hash. So at this point, what you're doing is you're going to start figuring out is it worth it that 10 watts that you're making the trade here for the mega hash difference. Now this GPU 4 I did a couple different experiments on. I bumped up the power limit to 150. We've got the memory at 1600 and left the core clock at minus 500 and we stayed right in there right about 162.1 mega hash so so very close to these results in the 160 range. This uh, so it doesn't seem worth the trade-off there 
for the 20 extra watts you're adding. Now I do want to put an asterisk on this and just tell you I did some other testing with this card. I tried to do some highly efficient settings where I dropped this down to 105 watts um, as suggested by one of the folks in our Discord. I, I took it to 110. I also moved this back to 130 and I tried setting this to an absolute core clock, a fixed number to lock in the core clock of 1200 and I don't know if it was just because it was the gigabyte model that I was testing with but it just became unstable I started getting bad shares I think what I'm gonna go with here the the lesson for me is I think we just landed right out of the gate on a pretty good setting with these 3070s lucky enough here that um, I think we can run with this. So minus 500, 1600, and 130 on the power limit. And that gets us between 160 and, and 162, something like that mega hash. So let me get those settings applied and I'll be right back. All right, so here we are. We've got all of our final settings put in place. 130 on the power limit, 1600 on the memory, minus 500 on the core clock. And overall that puts us at 963.1 mega hash and this has been up and mining for just over 10 minutes here. But this will, I mean this will all settle in pretty darn close to this right here over the next hour or two. And then for wattage, again I'm not looking at this at the wall, but if we go ahead and add 50 to 100 watts for risers and system, let's call it about 955, somewhere in that neighborhood. And if we just drop in those numbers over here in what to mine, we select six 3070s and then we make the adjustment here for auto Lycos and then we hit a calculate let's come down here so you can see right here if you're mining directly uh, you are making four dollars and seventy five cents per day if you sell daily which I hodl my crypto so let's say you do this and you get a double or triple out of it you're actually making a lot more today than you think you are not financial advice and after electric you're at two dollars and forty six cents now I'm funneling everything into one bundle here in nice hash so I'm down here at about 70 70 75 cents less something like that after electric a dollar seventy five four dollars before electric and that's being uh, obviously auto converted into Bitcoin Bitcoin being where are we today somewhere around the twenty thousand dollar mark here we go, we're down a little bit just under 20,000. So if I hold on to this and we see Bitcoin go back to 60,000, 70,000, something like that, I could make an adjustment and just do a quick back of the napkin calculation here. And you're making upwards of, I don't know, five, six, seven dollars a day if I can hodl that long term. And you know, who knows, Bitcoin may never go there again, it may go to zero could go above a hundred thousand dollars a coin I don't know thanks so much for watching today if you all have any questions comments any thoughts on these other algorithms here and what you're mining uh, put it down below we'll see you in the next video take care